Hello everybody, uh, with this video tutorial I will show you how to import and use media resources in Roomba. Starting with Roomba 1.1, we totally reworked the media integration. In Roomba, a media can be an audio file, a video file, a single image file, or an image sequence, and Roomba supports regular file formats for all those resources. So to import media, look for the media menu in the top bar right there and choose open media. For this tutorial, let's first import an audio file. So just choose the audio file filters right there. And here we go. As you can see, it automatically created a new type of layer called the media layer. And within this media layer, uh, you can see the audio clip right there. So let me add more frame to this, like this. And if I just, so if I play this, so you can play the media, you can turn off the sound as you want. Uh, media can be retimed and uh, edited uh, directly within this view. So that's pretty neat and really easy. Uh, just the same way as a regular audio and, and video editing uh, software. You can create as many media layers as needed. So uh, let's create another media layer. Uh, this time we're gonna go to this little add layer button. And if you right click on this one, you can add a new media layer on top of the previous one. So I'm gonna just resize the layer a little. And this time you can choose to right click in this layer to add a media in it at the clicked frame or um, if you want to drag and drop directly uh, a media from your file explorer you can drag and drop the media where you want uh, in the timeline so i'm gonna put this media right there if you choose to import a video just like i did an import dialog um, pops up and lets you adjust the timings and resolution of the imported video so you can just uh, play the video just to look at what you want to import. So Roomba will extract all the frames from the imported video. So for a quick import, uh, please be careful uh, with the length and the memory usage of uh, your imported clip. So I'm gonna trim it a little, just to import the first part of this video and I click import like this. And as you can see, it imported uh, my, uh, my video here playing the sound as well. If you want to see uh, the waveform, you just choose to show the waveform of the thumbnails of the video. So this video is also editable. You can split it, uh, resize and retime this. Uh, if you use shift, yeah, you can resize within the video, which is pretty neat and, and useful. So it's, it's really, you can also duplicate those uh, video as well. Uh, using the control key uh, when you move it. So that's really intuitive and uh, it, it will hopefully help you a lot. Uh, the last type of media you can load is the images. So if you load an images, uh, you will see that if Roomba detects that this images is part of, of a sequence like this one, it will automatically ask you uh, if you want to import the sequence as well. So here, I just want to import the sequence and uh, it will load for you the sequence. And you can just move this and put some uh, video on top, which is, uh, which is cool. If you want to edit uh, the timings and the frames from the, the image sequence, just go to the, the media you just imported and, uh, and change the, the related attributes like uh, the FPS or the media in and out that stands for the the input frame and the output frame of uh, of your sequence so now maybe we just want to preview this this media uh, in Roomba to do so we introduced uh, the media viewer so the media viewer is just a single uh, player that will let you choose uh, which layer you want to you want to see so here I just want to see the uh, media layer one and if you play it you can see that uh, 
everything is blinked. So, oh, I maybe change my FPS right there, which will be better if I put 25 like this. And here we are. That's way much better. Uh, but maybe you also want to put this uh, video ref in inside viewport to, to use as a, a projection. Simply create an image plane with using the create menu. And within the attribute editor, you can specify uh, which layer would be projected. Here I'm going to choose my media layer one. You can just want to uh, scale this or you can choose to use a camera as a projector like this one. So let me create an extra camera like this one and show you how it looks. Here we go. Oh. Like this. Okay, that's all for this video tutorial on Roomba Media. Uh, hope you liked it and please don't forget to check the online documentation for more information. Uh, you'll find the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.